Time now is 625. The National Traffic Safety Council has an ambitious idea. They want to eliminate all traffic deaths by 2050. So Jason's here. We, that sounds great. Can sure. they pull this off? That is the big question, and it's really not going to be because of humans. They're not going to help us out. It's really going to be because of future uh, smart car technology and also autonomous car technology. Now, the report mentions many new cars will be able to brake automatically. Cars will be able to warn drivers about objects in their blind spots, and many cars can already park themselves and they're also able to stay in their lanes and even drive semi-autonomously right now. When we really talk about getting serious about eliminating traffic deaths, there's a lot you can do in roadway design. There's a lot you can do in car safety. There's a lot you can do with an autonomous vehicle. But for now, number one is we just have to take it on ourselves and say, enough is enough. We're, I'm not going to text when I'm, dri I'm driving. I'm going to obey the speed limit. I'm going to look for cyclists. And right now, all of those things might seem like an impossibility the way driver behavior has changed in Denver over the past few years. I hear about it every Friday when I do my Driving You Crazy Facebook Live broadcast uh, on our Denver 7 Facebook page. People rant and rave about all kinds of issues. The most compo co common complaint I hear is slow drivers in the left lane, yep. aggressive drivers, mm -hmm. and people not using their turn signals all the time. I think it's just an overall aggressive driving nature now around Metro Denver. All they care about themselves. Yeah. Well, and when we have uh, cars driving themselves, life will be so much simpler. Okay. Maybe that's fun. So. <laughs>